Today is super exciting. I got the final samples of the electric eel wheel yarn counter from the factory. I know that they're final samples because I've already opened them, done all my tests, and they pass everything. That means that what's in these boxes is exactly what I'm expecting to ship out to you guys once the factory has had time to make them and ship them to me. And then from my warehouse, I'll ship them out to you guys. But let's check out what's inside. So on the inside of the box, the first thing you'll see is the manual. And this just helps get you started with all the different features and how to set up the yarn counter. Inside this box, there's two of these bubble wrap bags. The first one is the clamp. And the second one is the actual yarn counter. The clamp will install like this and then you just tighten this to the uh, desk or table that you're using to sort of hold the yarn counter in place. The last thing in the box is this yarn counter card. It has the different wraps per inch for different types of yarn, which will help you in some of the menus to set up the yarn counter to be more accurate. The only thing you need to get started is to pull it open like that and the magnets are holding it closed. You install a couple of batteries like this and you're good to go. So at this point you run the yarn through there and it'll start counting. I know a lot of you are interested in how the yarn counter and the cone winder are going to work together. So I put together this little video to show you just that. On the cone winder, I've set the target length to 130 yards. And right now we're at uh, just over 110 yards. So that means we've got 10, 20 yards of yarn left to count. So if I come over here and I turn the cone winder on, it's going to start winding yarn onto a cone. And if we go back over here, we can see that the yarn counter is counting up towards 130 yards. And when it gets there, it'll turn the cone winder off. So it made that beep, shut off the cone winder, and we're at 131.2. So just the inertia of the cone rolled another 1.2 yards on. So if you wanted to get exactly 130 yards, you'd probably want to program the yarn counter to, you know, around 129 yards. So you can see that, you know, these two tools are already working together. People who are following my YouTube videos know that this is still a prototype and I'm still working on improving it. Thanks for watching.